Thank you for bringing us all here in your, and we are gathered here in your presence. We pray that you will fill us with your Holy Spirit and that you will guide us in the right path and we pray that the worship session that is being held here today will speak to the people and we will be able to speak your word through whatever we are praying and we are worshipping in your name. We pray that you convey your truth and your message through our worship as well as through your word. Everything we commit in your name. Amen. We will start the evening service by singing hymn number 422, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine. Today's Bible reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verses 1 through 8. This can be found on page number 726 of your pew Bibles. I repeat, today's Bible reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verses 1 through 8. Isaiah's vision of the Lord. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphim, each had six wings. With two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. 
And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the foundations of the threshold shook at the voice of him who called. And the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, for I am lost. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a burning coal that he had taken with tongs from the altar. And he touched my mouth and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, send me. Here ends the Bible reading. Praise be to God. So, we'll be having a short skit. Good evening, everyone. Uh, before we start the skit, I'd like to uh, quote yet another Bible verse. So Matthew 6, chapter 6, verse 1 says, Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Fellow children of God, as Christians, we've all been guilty here and there of being insecure in insincere in what it really means to worship our good God as a true Christian. At times, we forget that worshiping the Lord isn't simply singing gospel songs or waking up early just to pray for half an hour or making it to church every Sunday. True worship lies in the way we choose to live our lives every day because our worship should come from a place of heart and passion. We grow closer to the embrace of God when we live our lives in a way that is holy in his heights. Here's a skit to remind us of how often we are misguided in the way that we worship our Lord. Kim, 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 Kim. What are you doing? I'm just looking at the Message Sajina sent, you know, I'm going through the song lyrics and everything. Do you want to see those with me? Nah. Move. So, hi guys. Sorry for the last minute. We need a presentation. So, you guys know that we have the youth fellowship service this evening, right? So, there is a presentation needed. So, the presentation should be short. Mm-hmm. Wait, okay. wait, wait, I want to take a note of this. Mike, Mike, Mike. Okay, so the presentation should be short, but it should be uh, catchy, okay? okay? So the theme is that to worship God in spirit and in truth. Okay? okay? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. How many songs? Four, I think so. No. Do you need water? Mic up. I don't have it. No, I don't. No, I don't. I thought you got a bottle with you when you came. No. I don't have a bottle. Sure. Come slowly. Okay. Okay, copied everything. Okay, let me go just butter up the teacher. What happened? Water. Drink water. No, no. I'm sure the veil. Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike. Drink more water. Please drink more water. It's very. Sana, okay. Pat, pat, pat. Careful, careful, careful. And that's all, okay. Nothing, nothing. Just be careful. It's wait. Let me take it. It's okay, yeah. No, it's okay. Careful, careful. Here. Thank you. So, 
are sweating so much. Your fan out of Miriam. No, it's still sweating. No, Miriam. Please, present it. Very good. Ready for you. Please. Okay. Are you hungry? Yeah. So what do you want to eat? I'm going to order. Can we go and ask them? Yeah, but let let's check. No, you tell me what do you want, and then I'll go ask them what they want. No, you ask them and they'll come. Are you? Wait, I'm in between my presentation. Here. Wait, I'll leave it here and go. Yeah, Just sure. wait. Okay. Come slowly. Guys, I'm super hungry. I want to order something. What do you guys want to eat? Chicken puff sudu. Chicken. We're eating chicken puffs like every single Sunday. What do you guys want? Sandwich. Okay, so I'll get that from Hot Breads. Yeah. And Coke from Swiggy. Will that be fine? Yeah, that works. Okay. How many of us are there? Twelve. Okay, I copied everything. Twelve. Now I can do my presentation. Yeah. I'm going to get chicken sandwich. Yeah, sure. From Hot Breads. Yeah, yeah. And then Coke. Yeah, sure. Do you want something else? No, shush. I've never seen anyone be so serious about a PPT man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's college? Shh. You can talk and work. Kim Shush. So, guys, is the presentation done? Yeah, mine is done. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to need another minute to yeah, yeah. just align and continue with it. Okay. Alan, you want to see mine? Yeah. Okay. 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 The highlighting is nice. I know. That's why I did it. Okay. This looks very good. Okay. Then next I like side. the content. And the verses okay. go really well with the theme. Okay. Yeah, I was reading yeah, it online and yeah, that's I how I got it. I see. I really like this. I'll just have a look at what Miriam's done. Yeah, see mine. Come, 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 come. Ah, Miriam, that's flashy. Yeah, I know. It is a little bit same. But it's the same. It yeah. would, that's what was there. It's in highlighted. See, it's flashy. Mine is flashy. Yeah. It's better. That's true. This looks better. You know, more flashy and a lot of images. Yeah. Is that a GIF? Yeah. Looks good. What, what Guys, do you think? What have you decided? We don't Maybe have time. I think we'll go with hers. Yeah, okay. No problem. Send it to me. I'll just send it to Dashan and Moses. So they'll yeah. put it up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, then that works. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Guys. Anna, one thing. La. Hello. Oh, wait. Three minutes. Three minutes? Yeah. Three more minutes for celebration. What celebration? Celebration? I just won the co competition. What competition? In college? No, the presentation competition. What competition, Miriam? What are you talking about? You chose my presentation. Yes. I won the competition. There was no competition here. This was a competition. I don't come for one week and you make everything a competition. No, there is no competition, Kim. This is a competition. No, Miriam. What competition? I thought you just wanted someone to help you for the yes. service. Exactly. It's no, a it's competition. No, it's a competition. It's not a competition. Who told her it's a competition? It is not a competition. Oh, it's not a competition. Hello? Ah, no, the gate kita under there, na. Miriam, who told you it's a competition? Everything is a competition. No, we did it only to worship God. Then how will I do it? I'll just stand up, na. It's not about you. It's about God. You did it for God. Oh. So not with me. No, no it's, it's not, not about you. It is about how you worship God. There is no room for the self, for yourself when you worship the Lord. So this was not accomplished. Yes, I hope you understand that, Miriam. But anyway, good job on the presentation. Good job, guy. So this was not a competition. Okay, I'm now starting to grasp the whole okay. purpose of this. Worshipping and doing something or anything for the matter for our Lord is something that we should do it from our heart. For any heart having room for vain glory is too far too small to understand and receive the love of our Lord, of our ever-loving Father. Quite often in our life, we turn to God only because we need something, uh, when we have uh, expectations, uh, when we have, when we are in pain, or sometimes we pay for just for the, to impress others, or to look good in front of others, or coming to church regularly, regularly for just the sake of being a Christian. But that's not it. 
true worshippers required require spirit and truth for our lord is spirit and longs to have sincere worshippers who adore him in the realm of spirit and truth our lord our god is seeking for those who want him in want him in this way worshiping the father will not be a matter of of the right place but that of a, with the right heart so let us stand here true and sincere in our faith and worship knowing that god is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth thank you check good evening everyone today i'm going to be sharing a testimony on how god has been good throughout this past few months in this past year so i've recently finished my 12th standard so this year has generally been very difficult and stressful and you know confusing on what i should do what i should not do especially when i was asked to give a testimony i was not sure how i was exactly going to convey how god has been working through my life but then i sat down and i thought about the past few months about how god has been through me been with me and he's just helped me through every decision that i took especially when i did not know which college to go or after my results which course to take i was very confused i was like just god please give me a sign i i, I don't know what to do i'm not i don't know what i'm doing with my life right now just give me a sign on what i should do and that's when i realized that god does not necessarily have to give direct answers he can use the people around you to e- even though it's not the exact solution what they give it just gives you some sort of hope to just hold on to god and be it the be it your parents be it the people in your youth fellowship or just anyone who's you know god sent or when you feel like they've that somehow their talks have given you answers for all your questions and that's how i was able to realize that god's plan for us is just so perfect that it's going to happen eventually you don't have to worry about it all you need to do is just trust and just wait on the lord that's what i've been doing that i i genuinely did not know what i was going to do but then god somehow helped me through get through all of it so yeah that was very uh you know very personal for me because i was always looking out for direct answers and when god had used the people around me to give me some sort of hope or just things that i need to do it was uh, very nice so i thank and pray god praise god for that uh, thank you let us spend some time in confession gracious god we confess we are not worshiping you in truth and in spirit we were not concerned to know who you really are and what you expect from us we came to worship without realizing we are worshiping an almighty god we stood before you without realizing our sinfulness we sang to you with our lips and not with our hearts when we praised you were not sincere in giving glory to you we participated in sacrifice and offering to you we did
We pray for the leaders of this congregation and the pastor. Give them guidance through, through your Holy Spirit. We pray for the leaders of this nation, especially the Chief Minister, the Prime Minister, and the Human Form Council of Ministers. May your will be done in this land, and may your peace prevail all over. May there be peace in the Holy Land, may there be peace all over the world. We pray to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended to the dead, the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence you shall come to judge the faith and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last two. As we remain standing, shall we sing the opening hymn, Fifth number 538. Pray for every one of us here. Pray, Lord, that you will bless 
each of them here. And I pray that God that your blessing will continue to go with them as they go back to their houses and also to their regular work. We pray that God that the message that we have heard of the Lord that will continue to resonate in our hearts to make sure that God that we live a life that would always be in tune with God and not just, just the outward um, activities of the church. I pray, O Lord, that you would convict us, continue to keep convicting us, and Lord, help us to Lord, be your disciple, O Lord. And Lord, we just pray that you would continue to give us your peace in every day, when we, in every, every time, O Lord, every time we go, O Lord. We thank you and we praise you. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We all say the Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hold be your name, and in my heart. And the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit rest in our mind with us now and always. As a closing hymn, we will be singing hymn number 948, verse 